Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Centigrade, the directorial debut of Brendan Walsh, uh, which is co-written by Daley Nixon, uh, also making his screen, or their screenwriting debut. Um, it will be available to stream on digital demand as of August 28th, 2020. Uh, it is based on a true story of an American novelist uh, who, along with her husband, uh, gets stuck in a very uh, a terrible winter storm in uh, Norway uh, as she's promoting on a book tour, uh, also pregnant, and spends uh, 24 days in a car uh, where she eventually will give birth to her baby and her husband will die. Uh, and that is just the nitty gritty of it. Uh, it stars Genesis Rodriguez as Naomi and Vincent Piazza as Matt. Um, uh, Mr. Piazza, of course, was in Boardwalk Empire and Clint Eastwood Jersey Boys. Um, Genesis Rodriguez uh, has been in uh, quite a few things, uh, a couple of Kevin Smith films, including Tusk and uh, Yoga Hosers. Uh, it's a film, it starts out uh, where they wake up uh, in the car. They had been uh, driving in terrible weather from uh, one town to the next for the book tour and the driving conditions they both agreed were dangerous. Uh, they fall asleep, wake up to be caved in, can, the car won't start, they can't open any of the windows, and then for the remainder of the film until the last five to ten minutes or so, uh, we're stuck within the confines of that car with a very unhappy, bitter couple. Um, She's a writer, they talk about writing uh, their last letters, he doesn't want to, she writes a short story, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, it doesn't quite get to the, the heights of a Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf scenario, but uh, it, it's clear that there's a lot of resentment that it would have been great to see this couple outside of the car for some length of time before they get stuck in it. Uh, that said, uh, you know, hats off to the uh, director of photography, Seamus Tierney, uh, who lends Lake Bells in a world for having to be stuck within these uh, very gloomy gray confines. Uh, it's just, it's based on a true story, so you can't really argue with what happens. It's just that it's so frustrating to watch these two, and also kind of how they're written. It's, it's at a very shrill uh, pitch that uh, it just gets taxing. Uh, overall, I would give the film one and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from IonCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.